YouTube, we are with our 2015 GMC Sierra. Um, our transmission's getting a little hot. Uh, it gets up to about 190 degrees. And, um, well, I hope it didn't slip, but it felt like the transmission slipped out of uh, six gear one time as I was driving down the road. So I'm hoping that this will help me out. So you wanna find the uh, transmission thermostat housing. You get underneath the driver's side of the truck and these lines right here will take you right to it. Um, I believe that's a 13, I believe that's a 13 mil and that one is also a 13 mil. When you pull this out, um, there's gonna be rubber gaskets on this line and the and this one on there. Uh, make sure you don't lose those uh, rubber O-rings. Leave them, you know, leave them on the leave them on the on the pipe or the hose or the line. Okay, so once you get this off, um, you want to make sure you get, pull those O-rings out and put them back on there. The bolt size actually for this outer edge or this outer one was uh, was a 13, but that the inside one. That one right there, that ended up being a 10 mil. You want to look at the top here, and you want to get these snap rings and pull the innards out so that we can use this kit. Um, it's the uh, STL-010. This is the uh, the bypass here. Um, I'm not really sure how it works, but everyone says online this is the one you want to do. There's another method where you can open this up, and there's like a, they call it flipping the pill. There at the bottom but the problem is with that is if the pressure builds up too much it doesn't i don't know relieve it i guess as well whereas this one this kit right here has a pressure relief okay so this part of the video here is more for me than it is for you i just want to make sure i pull everything out in the proper order so uh you know if you i pulled the stamp ring out this was a little bit of a bear to get out i ended up taking a pair of pliers and just grabbing that uh that top there that that nipple and just working it back and forth until I can get it, I got it to back out. Um, now, there's that top piece, and then all these bits down in there. Here's that pill that they were talking about. Some people just flip this around and stick it back in there, or at least that's what another guy in another video did. I'm not sure if I like that so much. And I think there's still some other stuff down there. A spring. So those are the components that come out of it. And that housing is empty. Now with the kit, I already kind of broke into it already. It has instructions. It's supposed to be assembled that way. Um, I guess, you know, just at a glance here, the big thing that you want to make sure you get right is the that spring. It's got a smaller end and a wider end, and you want to make sure that smaller end is towards that ball. Okay, so again, this is where, um, this is the original stuff that came out. That's the pill that people will sometimes flip in there. Um, but I'm told, like, uh, it builds pressure and it doesn't relieve super good. This is the kit, the, um, again, the uh, STL-010 um, from Superior Solutions. Um, and this is how it's supposed to be installed in there. Um, if you go with this kit, I highly suggest that you have some like transmission fluid or something to, um, you know, lube up these O-rings because you have to put the O-rings on this thing and t these two up there yourself. Um, and I felt that these O-rings that came with the kit were a little brittle. Um, I was worried about, you know, snapping them as I was pulling over the top. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't leak. So now we're just going to drop everything into place. Okay, so I put it all in there according to the instructions, made sure that the uh, small side of the coil was closest to the ball. Um, 
I couldn't just drop everything in there straight because uh, it all needs to be like centered and stuff. So I found it easier just to kind of hold it sideways. Drop that, uh, drop that piece in first and then put the ball, this ball inside the, whatever that piece is, and then the spring in there. Um, and then hold it sideways and put, and put it all in. This needed a, you're gonna need to push down a little bit on here. And lastly, oh crap, I dropped the damn snap ring. Shit. Okay, don't be dumb like me. Don't drop your snap ring. Uh, get, get, in, get it in there, make sure you get it in the groove all the way around like that. Something I noticed is, cause I wasn't sure if this truck, cause this truck, my truck's had some miles on it. I've got like 180,000 miles on it. Um, I wasn't sure if this was, had already been done. Um, as far as I know, it's the original transmission. And I know a lot of people out there, their transmissions are, you know, getting hot and cooking at like 100,000. Um, something here that I noticed is this was the original, you know, the thermostatic, um, piece here but if this modification has been done I've noticed this top piece is marked with the STL 010 um, part number I don't know if they're all that way but um, if you're not sure if your truck has got it done it might be worth just taking a peek at the top here and seeing if it is install is going to be you know just basically the reverse just the two screws and the you know put the lines in there and the and the two bolts to get it back on there so i'm hoping that this video helps somebody out um because i didn't see a whole lot of information on it uh myself so as you can see here the transmission got to 190 degrees before doing this modification i was just driving up and down some backcountry roads not too fast not too hard or anything so after we did the modification, I did drive it again on those country roads, but I did drive it a little bit harder um, because I wanted to test it. While I was driving it, it was it sustained in between 120 and 125 degrees. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this uh, modification. I'd shut the truck off and went and did something else in the garage for a minute um, and realized I forgot to take the picture, which is why I came back. When I came back and took the picture, it was a few degrees up here at 131 degrees. I'm assuming because the transmission fluid stopped flowing through the cooler and whatnot. Um, and also, before anyone says something slick about that check engine light, that check engine light is not actually on. It just comes on in every car after you first turn the, the key uh, to the accessory position. If you found any value in this video, please like, comment, subscribe.